so we'll start taking feedback from all the centers you can go we can't go to each and every center but we'll take some we'll connect some centers so whoever wants to give a feedback can press the hand raise hello sir good yes. morning yes sir the sir i think the material that you provided was excellent and uh, most importantly the young tas with their energetic demos and very lucid demos actually enlightened us uh, and empowered us with uh, new uh, new knowledge and um, that that was excellent thank you sir 1098 Sir, thank you very much for the concept that you have cleared, particularly regarding elliptical curves. That was very difficult to understand through uh, textbook, but uh, the basics are very clear, uh, comfortably taken, and uh, we could uh, work out various practical examples regarding that. So, thank you, sir, for that. Hello, good morning, sir. Yes. Good morning. Uh, sir, uh, I am Sarika Agarwal from Dronachari College of Engineering, RCIDS 1316. uh so uh, i think uh, no doubt the session was very knowledgeable and uh, our participants are our, our participants are equipped with their uh, uh, equipped with the knowledge of various tools like nessus and map uh, etc and uh, we all are enjoyed the guest lecture from industry speakers also and moreover our, our two participants are eagerly waiting to give a feedback and i am handing over the mic to ms komal grover Hello. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Sir, it's my pleasure uh, to be addressing this wonderful audience. I wish to convey our regards uh, for allowing us to this uh, workshop, and it was a great opportunity for us to learn about cyber security. Thank you. Good morning, sir. My name is Jagpal Singh Rana. I am speaking from One Three One Six Remote Center. I want to say firstly thanks to all the agencies that is Ministry of HRD, IIT Bombay, and uh, Dronacharya Group of Institutions for conducting this wonderful and uh, value adding and a uh, lot of other things we came to know about what are the actual things going on here and how we can enhance our critical working, our even theory, even we can enhance and engage and share this knowledge and information with our own colleague. and with our secondly workshop was very good it was very eye opening and i learned a lot here the day i received invitation from coordinator of this 1316 center i was so much pampered that i'm going to conduct a particular workshop on the particular topic which is of very interesting this is why interesting to me because i am the faculty taking e commerce and information security systems classes in my institute so i got thrilled and the day one when i received this message to conduct i mean to have attend this particular workshop i was counting the hours and minutes every day i used to log in on my moodle at least 10 to 15 times in a day so that make me so thrilled and i learned here practically though i was aware about the theory i was discussing with my students only theoretical aspects most of them and some of the aspects like how viruses and other malicious malware tools are getting affected your system but i came to know and i came to learn here the new things which is definitely an eye opening and the best part of the workshop is this workshop has given us a lot to learn to do and to excel and to help our other students to keep themselves aware with the growing need of security in cyber space the books provided to us is very wonderful very eye opening and very useful faculty and the coordinators are so much knowledgeable and they are so much of value addition to us i want to extend my gratitude towards one of the faculty members that is professor barnard and to my coordinator dr sarika agarwal at the workshop center apart from this i have huge suggestions suggestions that is suggestion number 1 the workshop should be conducted more frequently but on a lesser area area in the sense on one or two topic because cyber security is very large area it includes web includes networking include infrastructure 
my suggestion is that we should conduct a topic a workshop on the smaller area so that we can have better knowledge which actually indeed required and of course more frequently and for lesser duration duration should not more than 4 5 days at the most because whole day program at least 40 hours within 40 hours workshop must be done this is my own feeling my own suggestion this may not be shooting to all and to the system and after that participants must play the role of individual social responsibility to increase awareness among the society among the people among the peers and among the students so they must play the role of individual social responsibility as what we have learned we should share with others because everybody just cannot learn everybody just cannot have this information it is only through the learning and giving back to the society that is my last point and also i would like to thanks to all the participants and all the individuals who has done this workshop very wonderfully conducted and my sincere thanks and my gratitude to all of them who are playing the role between and behind the scene that is foreground and background i have once again thanks to all of the complete team all the ministry and the concern ministry of the id bombay and especially the dronacharya group of institutions where i had done this workshop i attended the workshop and it pampered me so much that i am going to take i have learned here almost 47% the total workshop i am going to take to my back to my original organization at least by 70 to 80% so that i can 70 80% what i have learned here that can be learned by 30 40% by other people in my group thank you very much sir thank you very much for your feedback hello good morning sir my name is sharath kumar i am from bapuji holding from the discipline electronics and communication i am very much impressed by this course sir and it was you know it and uh, new subject for me it was a good learning at this center i am thankful to all those who are at the iit bombay and uh, gave such an important and useful uh, sessions to all of us especially i remember the session of uh, joseph wilkins was wonderful it was a good session sir thanks a lot sir especially to all the press mr bernard professor shukumar and uh, one more mr patak and others also i thank on behalf of all the center everyone thank you sir good morning sir good morning uh, on behalf of all the participants and uh, pst college of technology first i would like to thank uh, iit mumbai for organizing such an workshop uh, all the almost all the theoretical sessions and laboratory sessions were interesting and uh, informative sir uh, particularly the sessions on uh, ecc elliptical cryptography and the online banking uh, that's very interesting and um, uh, some more uh, suggestions i want to uh, the first thing is uh, actually we expect more mathematical concepts uh, related to particularly cryptography and all i think uh, while conducting the next workshop and all if it is included uh, it be very useful for uh, uh, because i am from mathematical background uh, and uh, the research oriented also if you highlight some of the research oriented uh, points uh, it will be very useful for us uh, the two suggestions i want to make and uh, overall uh, the workshop is uh, well organized and everything uh, the informative and uh, very useful for us to take the classes actually next semester i am going to take the paper mathematics for cyber security uh, so it's very useful for us a question uh, my feedback is that myself purushottam patel from rt patel institute of technology shirpur maharashtra we all are very happy to understand the concept of various tools like wire shark sql injection and mapper it is very beneficial for budding researchers like us i am also thankful to professor bernard for providing us the very knowledgeable books on cryptography and cyber security finally it is very uh, in our opinion focus on research direction should be more clearly given so that we can have selection of research topic for our future the uh, research work once again for uh, we all 
are thankful to Professor Bernard, Professor Shiv Kumar, Professor Sudarshan for sharing valuable knowledge to us. Thank you, sir. Hello, good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, I like to thank I like to thank all of the people who were involved in organizing this workshop. Let be the organizers, let be speakers, and all the coordinators. It was a very fruitful session. These ten days of workshop, uh, we came to know so many things that we were having doubts of cyber security, and we'll be using some concepts in our PhD courses, which some of my friends are doing. And it was really very fruitful. And I would like to thank IIT once again for uh, organizing such wonderful workshops and making our summer vacations fruitful. Thank you, sir. Uh, hello, sir. Uh, I, first of all, I would like to thank MHRD funded by NMICT for conducting this workshop. And my special thanks to Professor Bernard and uh, uh, Shiva Shankar, then uh, the Professor Deepak Patek, and the technical teams like uh, Shushant, then uh, other peoples. So the overall the workshop, the feedback is very good, sir. And we have did all the labs effectively. And uh, in our part, the workshop coordinator has uh, given up uh, plenty of knowledge. So he, he helped in uh, uh, many lab facilities. And uh, he had done a, a very good job. Uh, even from IIT Bombay, they have done a very good job. And the overall, uh, the workshop feedback is very good, sir. And continue the same for uh, future workshop also, sir. Uh, so, uh, first of all, we would like to thank the team of uh, uh, cyber security for giving us such a very information rich, uh, hands on, I mean, information rich uh, uh, sessions, uh, both in theory as well as uh, for the lab. Uh, special thanks to uh, both the professors, uh, Bernard sir and uh, Shivakumar sir. Uh, thank you so much, sir. It was very informative, and yes, it has enlightened all the research perspectives of our faculty. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, my name is uh, Professor Kerka, sir, from uh, Phenolex Engineering College Technology, Ratnagiri. First of all, I would like to thank the uh, entire team of INT Bombay for organizing such a nice workshop which gives uh, valuable information regarding the network security, not only the theoretical part, but also the software issue like uh, Wireshark, uh, DVWA, that is time vulnerable uh, applications, nmaps, snort applications, which are very interesting tools through which we can analyze the packet as well as we can analyze the, all the data regarding the security issues. So once again, I will uh, special thanks to Shiv Kumar sir and uh, Sudarshan sir and uh, Bernard sir for giving a, a, a valuable information and organizing a, a, such a nice workshop. Thank you, sir. So, overall workshop is nice, sir. The practical sessions and the software tools are uh, explained earlier is very nice in the Yodri networking concept. So, thanks to Bernal, sir, and Sivakumar, sir. And also, my suggestion is please uh, conduct one more workshop uh, on uh, the next advanced topic and also in image processing, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Good morning, sir. It is Deepak Agarwal from Purnima College of Engineering. All the sessions were very much informative and we have gained a lot from your sessions. But uh, in a few sessions like uh, in NMAP, SNOT and NSS, uh, our participants have found some problems and even sometimes I am also not uh, able to solve the queries. So uh, I would like to request you to provide some uh, links on Moodle through which they can post their queries. and. We can expect some answers from your side, sir. But overall, this uh, workshop was very good, and we have found it very much useful, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot. Sir, good morning. Yes. Uh, myself, Prabhakar Dubey, on the behalf of my college, BNCET, I'm thankful to the, all the members of the IIT Bombay, which has provided us the platform to join this workshop. And my, my college also, which has given us the, us the facility to attend this workshop. Really, this workshop is very interactive, very interesting, and fruitful for us. I especially the faculty members who are doing their PhD, who is going for higher education. All are very interesting and informative. So I'd like to thank all the key members of the IT Bombay who have successfully organized this workshop. Thank you.
demos provided in the youtube was not having the audio because of that uh, the there was a problem for understanding the tools like nmap nessus snort and metasploit so i request the uh, uh, teaching assistants to once again upload the uh, videos with the, the proper audio assistants so that uh, we can once again uh, understand properly our participants can be benefited uh, finally i thank uh, uh, all the cyber security team for organizing a wonderful workshop thank you very much hello uh, we are very thankful for uh, this opportunity by the mhrd and iitb for this facilitation and uh, wonderful initiative and uh, we have had excellent coverage of cyber security for the past 10 days in a focused and comprehensive manner a big thanks to professor bernard professor shiva professor uh, sudarshan and other facilitators for the uh, cyber security workshop and we have some uh, requirements regarding assignments to be submitted uh, we may require a requisition letter from your end to this effect to be shown to the government authorities and also to our college authorities to gather required input for the completion of the assignment uh, and also we look forward for more inputs and enlightening workshops in the future thank you coordinator of cyber security and uh, i would like to say that uh, the uh, earlier session in which uh, we have learned about the xss and the dwa were quite good and uh, the later one in with the s not matter spread aw stat that were discussed by the tas were pretty fast so uh, we think that uh, if we will have some more data if we will have some more thing about that things that software then it is better for us that we can learn very new things and very new software about that thing uh, by the way overall the workshop matter and the contents of all the things were very good and we are very thankful to you good afternoon sir good afternoon uh, i would like to thank us to mhrd iit bombay and kids ram tech uh, on behalf of the all the participants from the kids ram tech and it is the workshop is very useful and informative and it's uh, uh, there is a scope to research areas and uh, there is a new tools also we learn and very thanks to mhrd and the, all the resource persons mostly the tool dww is very much and uh, uh, very much useful for us and i i have to tell one incident i have created a couple of websites long back but uh, for my for my fortunate since the cross site scripting attack is not made in that website but after learning this course i tried whether cross site scripting attack is there in the website or not but cross site scripting attack is there in the website but after learning this course i have changed the coding and now cross site scripting attack cannot be made in that website so i have to thank iitb for conducting such kind of workshop and moreover i have to thank Professor Bernard and Professor Sivakumar sir for handling this workshop. Thank you. Good afternoon, sir. So this is Dr. Sarun from Remote Center, Periyar Muniyam University, Tanjavur, Tamil Nadu. First of all, I have to thank MHRD people for uh, having such a nice arrangement of uh, workshop on cyber security for the past 10 days. I have to also thank uh, the team headed by Professor Bernard. regarding this uh, conduct of this uh, entire workshop in a very peaceful and pleasant manner so this is what uh, we have been expecting from this particular uh, workshop itself and overall i have been very happy with this uh, particular workshop and uh, in one uh, eight, first session of eight day eighth day was very useful to me regarding with some research directions given by our professor bernard regarding this plan i we have to also thank uh, all the people involved in this particular uh, workshop and sharing the knowledge of uh, over the cyber security for the future directions itself and few suggestions you have been uh, from our center itself since uh, tamil nadu colleges have been uh, reopened and the faculty is not able to attend fully the entire workshop period throughout the day so if you are ha having such a planning in future so uh, please make note that you may be having this uh, workshop on uh, uh, vacation period or uh, some other days which are not uh, affecting the workload of this uh, careers of the individual faculties so this is what the suggestion you can able to give from our side 
so overall it is a very nice as well as very useful uh, seminar as well as workshop for the uh, for the teachers who have been empowered to make the students for our future life itself thank you sir on the behalf of prestige institute of engineering and science indore i submit my feedback it was my first and very new experience which helped in expanding my horizons it proved to be a valuable important informative part of learning the practical session was very nice the content and presentations or especially video matches made it more interesting the workshop can help the faculty the students we enjoyed and learned a lot and hope that in future we will become part of such a wonderful and fantastic workshop once again thank you sir i divakar tiwari on behalf of all the participants of uh, remote center 1256 that is sridatta institute of, of engineering and science is thankful to ministry of hrd and iit bombay for organizing this workshop and giving us opportunity to participate in the workshop of cyber security i am thankful to professor bernard for his talk on cryptography web security and security protocol i am also thankful for his uh, providing us a complimentary book on network security i am thankful to professor shiva kumar and professor sudarshan for their talk on infrastructure security and database security professor deepak pathak the principal coordinator of 10kt program i am very much appreciate his concept of think pair and share and this is totally new concept for our student and here we in sridatta we will also try to implement this think pair and share here at sridatta this is our 16th workshop with iit bombay and kharagpur here uh, in sridatta the transmission of audio video was very good and uh, they provide tea snacks and uh, lunch that was also good and uh, they provide a free transport facility for the participants and i will also thankful to remote center coordinator for his administrative work and the uh, workshop coordinator for his kind help last but not the least i am thankful to all the technical and non technical staff of iit bombay who are directly or indirectly involved in this workshop and last sir i am having one suggestion uh, can we have some workshop on phd oriented workshop or uh, some workshop related to paper publishing sir thank you sir over to you on behalf of ebt on behalf of ebt my whole hearted thanks to uh, cyber security workshop team and iit bombay uh, the whole workshop is very useful and very informative to us sir. Uh, and also our sessions handled by our sir kumar sir and bernard sir and our uh, other sensor uh, it's very useful sir uh, last year also uh, i attended uh, sudarshan sir for shop uh, dbms and management system uh, it's also uh, it was a very wonderful experience uh, to me uh, this year also uh, the cyber security workshop uh, gives more information to us uh, this will uh, help us to improve our knowledge in the field of cyber security also uh, my whole hearted thanks to our uh, remote center coordinator mr ash sangar sir uh he got given all the support to us and uh, he is uh, uh, supported very well to us and he gave so many uh, guidelines in the laboratory sessions a uh, very wonderful experience to us at the same time on my suggestion is uh, if you conduct the same workshop during the vacation period means uh, it is very useful to us because uh, now the academic year get get started So we can't concentrate uh, so much on this workshop. Uh, you know, so if this uh, July or uh, after July means not possible to uh, attend the workshop very actively. Uh, but if the same workshop is in uh, May or uh, it's in April, means it's very useful to us. Uh, we can attend very actively and we can participate in very enthusiastic manner. This is our suggestion. Uh, we are. All
this is our suggestion sir thank you and thank you once again good afternoon sir i would like to thank to each and everyone who are directly or indirectly to make this event grand success and i would like to i would like thank to our uh, remote center coordinator mr k ramna sir and ev coordinator mr subara sir and my sincere thanks to my workshop coordinator mr k funil kumar ji sir and these people are the one who are work uh, fully and they are providing very good practical knowledge for us to implement cyber security issues in our lab in hands on way so i thank each and every one so iit people as well as our college management thank to each and every one sir thank you very much sir good good afternoon sirs sir we are very much thankful to dr patak dr menges and dr shiv kumar for conducting such a useful workshop for all of us cyber thick security is a common talk today and uh, entirely this uh, workshop is very very useful for all of us we have learnt many new things uh, during this workshop like uh, different topics in cryptography uh, symmetric asymmetric cryptography different algorithms and uh, new cryptographic tools like wireshark then uh, dwa and uh, what is thought metropolis etc there were some technical glitches during the entire workshop but we understand that this is a this program is conducting long term uh, distance so it is possible to have some glitches but in spite of that the program is very very nice so one thing i have to share sir uh, we haven't yet received uh, the book uh, written by dr barnard so we have heard that many institutes in west bengal have already received it so we request to all the associated professors and mentors of this uh, program to kindly look into the matter and we hope that in future we will conduct such a workshop for all of us thank you very much and at the, la at the last but not the least i am very much thankful to the uh, program coordinator mr devadito kundu who has taken the pain to go over to mumbai for uh, for this course and he has done all the arrangements here to make the workshop possible and also the remote center coordinator dr bonani udikari who has done immensely good for the last one year for conducting all the workshops um, uh, possible here in shilaguri institute of technology thank you very much sir and have a nice day sona college salem and this is usha from sona college of technology on behalf of all the faculty members here who are participants i thank dr fatak dr bernard dr shiva kumar dr sudarshan and all the other members of the cyber security team we are immensely benefited through this program and uh, the last time i taught this course it was different and uh, this time i'm going to teach in a different manner including the practical aspects especially the research directions given by dr bernard is very much useful to those who are working towards their phd and uh, i thank also dr satyamurthy the coordinator from our college who had uh, taken much effort for the program to be uh, very useful to all of us a suggestion from our team here sir uh, we we expect a programming assignment so that the uh, faculty members will get benefited it can be a group assignment and can be evaluated and we expect the continued support from iit bombay for the uh, for the faculty members in the coming months also thank you i thank you on behalf of all our participants who have participating here in uh, for this course uh, from gc college uh, goa uh, the course was very useful sir with respect to uh, the technical aspects and uh, the theoretical aspects uh the technique the theoretical which was covered which was also shown shown using the practical practically and we could even use the utilize the uh, options of uh, using the tools okay to know how actually it was uh, uh working things were working in practicality and uh, uh, tools such as uh, webilizer dwa uh, and nessus were very useful and uh, we could e we could even um, actually what we can say that the, the analysis what can be carried out on the network which was very new newly known can be uh, really understood and tracked okay so that was a better part which every participant like uh, uh, and the the, the, the terminology injections uh, phishing attacks these are concepts were very useful and uh, 
uh, more in detail which we can uh, we know uh, and uh, this was like very useful for everyone thank you sir prova uh, sir first of all i would like to thanks uh, first uh, professor db pathak which is provide a uh, excellent uh, platform to us and uh, secondly sir uh, i would like to thanks to professor banan sir shiv kumar sir those who provide the very uh, good session on cyber security and sir the material in db uh, is uh, dvd is very awesome we not face any problems to installations to install the virtual uh, environment its guidelines is very easy and uh, second things uh, the assignments tutorials and lectures is very awesome your book is also very useful we also recommend to the students so uh, after so long times we have because uh, i am a we are teacher so always we teach after some this is long times ki we have behave like a students and we enjoy learn with fun and uh, one thing is we also learn think pair share so we have uh, planned so many things and we uh, this is a new things we, we have teach the uh, we learn uh, how to teach the students in a new way so this is a very good sir and uh, thank you so much thank you sir also professor shiv kumar sir professor pathak sir for conducting such a nice full work on cyber security i need to thank also our workshop coordinator milan kadiwal sir and lots of uh, new things and lots of idea about how to teach uh, cyber security uh, to the students and all the new things could also be with helpful and that can be good uh, session of all which conducted by the industrial person also there is one suggestion from my side our side that can be the such a workshop can also be conducted for the our student also so student can know about the what is the future of the cyber security in india and the what, what are the scope for the student also such workshop in the future also conducted by the iit bombay also we have hope so and uh, once again i am thank to the all, all of the pa of the iit bombay which give the all practical session about the all of the cyber security and we hope we go got the particular response and we get uh, more work so from the iit bombay expert thank you sir this is ramgopal from pvp sit it's our immense pleasure to be here with you from the last 10 days we have learned so many new things like uh, network security cyber crimes so many things we have been aware have been aware from so many things first i would like to instead of all our participants and colleagues i would like to thank mr deepak sir shiva sir bernard sir and all the resource persons they give their such a talent and shared us it's very very immense pleasure to be here with you and one more thing is professor shiva sir your practical examples are very good and bernard sir your subject is very vast and i thought that we have learned a tiny particle it is useful in our life such a great personalities all you have been shared your talent and iit stuff you have been shared from kashmir to kanyakumari it's very very good that and i would like to thank all the iit team and one more thing is your punctuality is very good sir i want to follow you in all the aspects which is positive and any negative is also will turn into positive and i would like to thank all of the iit members mhrd and our pvp sit to support all the support for us and our coordinator sir lakshmi narayana sir is very supportive in all the aspects thank you one and all thank you sir i would like to thank uh, all the team members of iit for such a wonder for providing us such a wonderful platform and uh, giving exposure to many of the tools like wireshark and postsec in such a short period of time uh, also the session means 10 to 15 minute session from dr vijay bhaskar that was also really nice to hear from him and so for all this wonderful organization i would like to thank all the team members of iit good morning good afternoon sir the whole session was very very nice uh, but there is a one suggestion from our side uh, if it could be some more interactive in terms of quizzes or any session very very we await for such more workshops uh, on various topics such direction select on the research direction was uh, very nice uh, it, it gives us a really uh, good topic uh, overview of good topics uh, regarding uh, recent recent trends thank you
Good afternoon, sir. The yes. beneficiary of this workshop on uh, cyber security uh, from Sengis College of Engineering, Kottayam, are uh, grateful to Professor Berna for his uh, textbook uh, on all his sessions, uh, especially in the research directions. And we are also thankful to the other academic uh, uh, resource persons, uh, Shivakumar, Sudarshan, and Virendra Singh and uh, industrial uh, resource persons. And we are exposed to a pool of uh, uh, tools on uh, cyber security. So we have two suggestions. So please keep the uh, security, uh, cyber security research forum in IIT Bombay open to all uh, RC research aspirants so that they can uh, interact and contribute in this field. The second suggestion is, so all the online uh, sessions were uh, clear and uh, informative and uh, useful. But uh, the recorded videos, the quality of re recorded videos were not very much clear. So please take care of that in the next workshop. And we also appreciate our uh, workshop coordinator, Mr. Vipin Das, for coordinating this workshop in very effective manner. Thank you, sir. Hello, good morning, sir. Okay, uh, uh, on behalf of the OPIT, I would like to thank to IIT Bombay for organizing such a wonderful workshop, uh, Cyber Security. And I also uh, would like to thank um, Professor D.B. Patak for his uh, uh, D.B. Moodle, for his wonderful D.B. Moodle. And uh, I, I would like to suggest uh, two things. The first one, uh, if you include the IT law in the Cyber Security in a one module, uh, it will be better for the all the participants to learn the IT Act also in the cyber security. And, I, uh, and the second session is that if you include a direct interaction in the lab session from the IIT Bombay, then uh, it will be better to us to learn a lot of things. Uh, we have learned a lot of things from the cyber security workshop, like the Wireshark, the DVWA, and the other tools of the uh, cyber security. And uh, I, I, I would like to request uh, one thing, if you organize a uh, recent technology from the IIT workshop, the workshop from the IIT Bombay, a recent technology like the uh, cloud computing and uh, network programming and other kind of the recent uh, technology, then it will be better for the other participant to learn a lot of things from the IIT Bombay. Thank you, sir. Congo Engineering College. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. I am Suresh from Congo Engineering College. First, I thank the IIT Bombay and the coordinators of uh, the cyber security workshop. And also I thank our remote center coordinators, Muthu Krishnan, for arranging all the hospitality for this workshop. Uh, through this workshop, we have learned a lot of uh, tools like Smart Metasploit and uh, EWA. So through these tools, we can uh, do our research activities in an effective manner. And also the research directions uh, session given by the Professor Burma was useful. So I thank uh, everyone for uh, arranging this kind of workshops. I expect uh, this uh, kind of workshop in future also. Thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, IIT Bombay for organizing this workshop for us. And uh, overall, this workshop was really good, especially the positive things which I would like to say is, before the last session, they have given us a complete introduction of what we have to do in the last session. They have given a complete outline of what tools we have to do, what, uh, what are all the information was given. So, they found it very easy while doing the last session. So, thank you for that explanation. And also the tools like Wireshock and CBWA, we were able to use all the tools in the last session without any problem. Thank you so much. And we would expect uh, similar workshops in the future, especially related to research in any specific topic that would be helpful for us in doing research. Yes, Rangaswamy College. Good morning, sir. It's my immense pleasure to share my feedback about this workshop. First of all, I thank MHRD and IIT Bombay for conducting this workshop in an efficient way by to study theoretically and practically skilled. And also, we have so many tools such as Wireshark, Metasploit, Nmap, Nessus. The main thing here is you have given, you have upholded all the attacks in so many tools. But we need all the attacks that should be resolved by a single tool. My suggestion is to conduct these kind of workshop for the computer related areas because uh, security is common to all areas. 
so we have semantic security cloud security uh, so many things are there we need your kindful for in all the areas and also we thank bernard sir devakumar sir and patak for for giving the nice lecture on each and every area and also your teaching assistant and moodle concept should be appreciated i think here is we have we, we are 30 participants are here but we have received only third so kindly do the needful for the remaining books thank you sir government engineering college good morning sir uh, well, i like to thanks dr padam sir uh, db patak sir and his team dr bernard sir uh, shiv kumar sir sudarshan sir virendra sir and all other resource persons i also like to thanks the team available at e studio and e outreach there is one uh, suggestion from uh, our remote center that the, that i already go through these some of these tools like wire sack and NFP. learning these tools in day zero is not easy task so my suggestion is that there is should be a communication link between the uh, all participants available at my center and other centers so that if they face any problem they can ask the expert at any time and they can get their query resolved so do uh, please do provide some link so that we can communicate with the it mumbai if we had any problem while using these tools because learning them is a tedious task thank you very much tata saheb core institute kolapur uh i would like to uh, i would like to thank on behalf of our participants in tkit varnanagar on special thank to professor patak sir and uh, bernard sir and even the teaching assistants who have taken the lab sessions and uh, uh, actually we didn't know the practical session now we up uh, updated our practical knowledge and we groom our students in the uh, practical sessions very nicely and special thank to the uh, iit uh, team who have conducted this sessions and we expected this same workshop in future also and uh, one more request is uh, from our college we didn't receive the uh, book from book for the, this workshop so we are kindly requesting to send the book for uh, guiding our students thank you and one more thing special thank to our uh, workshop coordinator mirajkar sir for arranging this workshop wonderful nicely and uh, cooperation is there sir thank you mgm yeah good afternoon sir this is shiv prasad from mgm college of engineering 1192 nanded uh i i'll start my feedback from saying the, this fact that i am fan of uh, bernard sir the reason is uh, 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 the way in which he has conducted the sessions especially uh, the sessions of cryptography particularly and the reason why i am fan of sir is the way in which he has written the book the we have we have read the books of uh, computer security by uh, uh, written by other other authors and the book the way in which he has written it it gives us you know the early understanding the fastest understandings of the subject because uh, the way in which he has designed the subject matter uh, again on personal note i i liked the session of uh, uh, research directions in his that lecture he has mentioned what are the areas in which we can uh, there is a scope of working and we can get a lot of things uh, in particularly particularly in the areas of uh, computer security so those couple of sessions of uh, research directions were very uh, uh, you know what we say uh, comprehensive this is what i liked a lot about these sessions and the sessions of access control very first session of access control by professor shiv kumar uh, it was very again comprehensive and uh, knowledge delivering Uh, another thing that we have learned from this workshop are new tools which we, which we were not knowing and those tools specifically osec uh, metasploit and all uh, we we have learned how 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 can we conduct the practicals on these tools and the same same tools we can use for our students when we are teaching this subject at undergraduate level in our college uh, again uh, many uh, again thanks to professor patak sir he is always you know the the point of inspiration for us we we our director uh, hod you know we always uh, what we say you know eager to listen him whenever he is coming on uh, the avu pl platform uh, many thanks to msrd the way in which uh, they are sponsoring the project and of course the people of iit mumbai spending lot of energy in you know uh, organizing this kind of workshop the, the on scene people behind the scene people we we all thank to them and lastly we thank our coordinator professor hasmi sir 
uh, last 10 days he is he's been coordinating with us for successful organization of this workshop thank you very much mount zion on behalf of the remote center 1255 i am thankful to you, uh, the team of cyber security workshop sir and we were uh, uh, what to say we learned a lot of tools regarding security cyber security in this workshop and the session on phishing sites it was too good and the issue of books regarding cyber security by professor bernard is very useful to us and only one request from our side sir could we get the answers for the online quiz that was posted yesterday oh could we get the answers for the online quiz certainly yeah we'll post them Thank on the moodle very soon so i was listening to all the feedback a lot of it positive and a few suggestions i begin by thanking all of you for participating so enthusiastically in this 10 day workshop as you know we are now changing the uh, model where we will have only 5 days of physical face to face interaction and the remaining one week work would be done online for future workshops so 10 days is a lot of time and i take the point that we must limit ourselves to uh, vacation time so that people can attend a couple of quick comments about the books and dvds i am very happy that the dvd is given were found useful i am sure that the remote center coordinators have made copies of these dvds to be further given to each participant so that each participating teacher can go back and and, and actually use these in his or her own college about the books i must confess that we could not handle the logistics properly we had placed the order early enough and the number of books that we had ordered were actually available to us what the problem was that we did not know the number of participants at each remote center and that is the reason why we had to wait for a very long time very close to the final date of registration even then we did not have sufficient information please appreciate that only half the participants had registered even 3 days before the last date of registration that was the information that we relate to delhi the people who have not received their books please leave your postal addresses with your coordinators we will ensure that the books reach you not perhaps very immediately or instantly because we have also received the remaining books here uh, only a few days ago but these books will be posted to you either from iit bombay or from the remote centers those remote centers which have excess books uh, please keep them with you we'll inform you what to do and if there are any expenses involved in sending these books further iit bombay through the project funds will reimburse those expenses so i apologize for the delay but i assure you that each one of you will get a book i am so happy that you like the book bernard has been a, a stalwart in this field and it is not very often that indian teachers write books so it's a very uh, important contribution that he has made uh, workshop for students was a suggestion made by people in fact i am trying to enthuse all my colleagues who have participated in these uh, workshops that while they have enjoyed relating to 6000 8000 10000 teachers they would probably enjoy relating to 1 lakh 2 lakh 10 lakh students and that is what we have started offering the massive open online courses as i mentioned we have adopted the edx platform we have been charged with the responsibility of preparing the bharat books or india books platform so that the students can directly benefit from these courses uh, which are offered by faculty members not necessarily from iit bombay alone but from good faculty members renowned faculty members at any place including in your own colleges this should start happening shortly and may i request bernard to commit today that he will offer a mooks course for the students in india with his colleagues sure sure Bernard has said yes, so let us give him a clap. Mm -hmm. His course will be the next course that will be announced. And very shortly when we announce the courses, some courses will start from 1st September. And we will announce that his course will be the next one to start, which may be 
September, October, November, December, January, sometime, when? Yeah, I'm Good. teaching security twice this year. Okay, okay, fine. So, we'll do that. I have noted that the recorded video quality is not good. You must understand that when we transmit directly whatever is written on the whiteboard or whatever is written on the slides appears very crisp and clear to you because these slides are actually pre-downloaded in your local machines and therefore they appear very crisp. Anything that becomes part of a video recording in terms of particularly the littering and other things will always be a bit blurred when transmitted as images. So that's a, that's a problem that we have. We'll try and improve things further. Without further ado, uh, uh, the, today's uh, chief guest for the valedictory function is my own colleague, Professor Karnan Mahogalya. Many of you would have seen him appearing in different workshops. Uh, apart from the, an enthusiastic participant in all our activities here, uh, he is also the overall coordinator of all national mission projects which are being conducted by IIT Bombay, including the T10KT project. He first agreed to give this validatory address and later on told me that he is going away to Uti and Erod. Uh, we requested him to arrange his timing such that he is at one of the remote centers during this validatory function. Uh, we have just noted that he has reached Amruta Institute, another of our partner institutions whose AVU product we use so proudly. I think I had mentioned that Amruta has decided to open source the AVU. So all of you can, in fact, in future, start using this uh, uh, tool even for your own local usage. Uh, ordinarily, the vote of thanks is given at the end. So I will request uh, Professor Bernard to do that when uh, the validity address ends. But I would like to take this opportunity to thank uh, the faculty members here, uh, Professor Bernard himself, Professor Shivkumar. And I understand that uh, Professor uh, Sudarshan also mm -hmm. gave a talk. More importantly, the industry participants who came gave very valuable inputs. Please understand that cyber security, and for that matter, most of our engineering courses need to be buttressed with lots of practice because theory alone is not adequate. And I'm so happy that Professor Bernard could actually use his industrial contacts and his own old students to come here and, and speak to all of you. Equally importantly, I would like to thank all the teaching assistants. See, unlike in some other places, in IIT Bombay, we do not dis distinguish between teachers and teaching assistants. Anybody who does a good job of explaining things, anybody who does a good job of building tools and sharing it with others, is as good as a teacher, whether it is Professor Fatak or whether it is a second year MTech student. So I'm thankful to them particularly for participating uh, in this and contributing significantly to the workshop. I would now like to switch over to Amruta Institute and uh, invite Professor Kannan Maudgalya to kindly give his validity address. Uh, over to Amruta. On behalf of Amrita Vishwavidhya Pedam, we welcome all the dignitaries, workshop team members, participants from all over India to this valedictory function. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Professor Patek, Professor uh, Bernard Menaces, Professor Shivkumar. Thanks for giving me this opportunity. I'm really delighted to be giving this uh, validity address uh, in this extremely important course where more than 5,000 people have uh, participated. Uh, it is uh, very good because uh, every person who has undergone this course can influence, can teach this material to at least 100 uh, people. So we are talking about a uh, very large scaling factor. So I am really delighted to be a part of this uh, program. And uh, as uh, Professor Fatek mentioned, I am I had the opportunity to uh, give this um, valedictory address from anywhere in Coimbatore. Uh, we decided to do this from Amruta. And uh, I, in fact, uh, Professor Patek felt that I should choose Amruta. And I have come here before. And uh, Amruta being a partner to us, 
uh, through this AVU software and uh, which has now of course has become open source software um, makes it um, uh, you know makes me um, really happy to be uh, here at Amruta. Um, this actually also uh, demonstrates the power of this uh, method that we are using. Just like the participants, the students, come, can, students can come from uh, anywhere in the world, the experts also can come from anywhere in the world. Uh, even the teacher nodes can be at more than one place. And uh, so this is something, uh, you know, very good. This, uh, uh, I want to say briefly about uh, some of the thought process that has gone in uh, coming up with this, um, uh, you know, NME ICT project, national mission uh, project that uh, Professor Patek mentioned. Um, so it was the brainchild of uh, Mr. N.K. Sinha. Uh, who was a uh, joint secretary when he came up with this idea. He was the first mission director. Now we have Sir Praveen Prakash as the uh, new director of this mission. The objective of this mission uh, is, uh, has been and is uh, to raise the levels of education in India. And um, one of the things that has, uh, you know, really happened, for example, when we went from 1000 teacher training program to 10,000 teacher training program. This is what we are doing is called T10KT. Um, we started with 1000 teacher training program and because of its success, Mr. Sinha um, urged uh, that uh, we should go to 10,000 teachers. One of the things that it has really, um, it has really benefited uh, is if you, if we conduct a program only for 1000 people, then the number of people who can participate from any college is a small one, given that our country is a large one. And typically, um, one has to wait for many years before they get an opportunity to participate in this. Now that it has become 10,000 teacher training program, almost anybody, doesn't matter what their age is, whether they are 25 years old or 30 years old, 35 years old, Anybody who wants to participate in this course can uh, join. Uh, so this is something extraordinary because uh, if you look at our QIP courses or even 1000 teacher training program, uh, one would be about 40 years old, 40, 45 years old to, uh, to go through such a course. Now I see we have gone through the statistics of the people who participate. We see quite a few people uh, at the you know lowest age group, even 25 to 30 people, but I see some people here uh, who are able to participate. And this would not have been possible had we not scaled this up. This is one of the you know not at all obvious when you just say thousand to ten thousand. Uh, what does it do? The other thing, of course, it has all it has also done is it has empowered half the population of our country. The number of ladies who participate in our Courses, um, you know, has gone to 40 percent, 45 percent, which is unheard of in engineering courses. So that is uh, something really good. Um, the missions, uh, mission, uh, the national mission on education through ICT, uh, has gone for projects of this type to make it available to large number of people. Our um, NPTEL is, you know, done in that manner. It is released as open source uh, and made available to every university student. Similarly, our uh, spoken tutorials available for anybody to download and use. We have virtual labs. We have e -antra, We have many projects. They are all of this type. Now, of course, one can ask, what is the point in making it available? What is the point and uh, is it really helping? Uh, so I would only say that we, you know, take any college, any school, anywhere in India, about 10 percent of our children can do extremely well anywhere in the world. Um, 
of course, I am choosing arbitrarily 10 percent. In some colleges, it could be 7 percent. Some um, official schools, it could be 12 percent. But if you take 10 percent of the children in our schools or colleges anywhere in India, whether they are in villages or uh, big cities, they could do extremely well anywhere in the world, whether it is MIT, Stanford, Caltech, Harvard, Cambridge and so on, it does not matter. And these children are stuck somewhere because of economic conditions and uh, family situation and so on. You give them the opportunity, they will do extremely well. Now the point is, who are these 10 percent? Um, are they the students who top the class? Are they the students who come first in the class? So actually the answer is not clear to me. Uh, for example, we know that Ramanujan failed in uh, some other courses. So it is not at all clear whether the toppers are necessarily the, the, the 10 percent that I am referring to. So it is very difficult to identify these people and empower them. One of the solutions seems to be to make available our technology to everybody, to make available our knowledge, our uh, uh, device for example, Akash to everybody and it will reach this 10 percent and they are the people who will be empowered and they will rise up and it is through them we will become a developed country. I strongly believe in this. So although some people may not uh, agree with me, I strongly believe and um, we are in fact getting some uh, fantastic uh, uh, things our, our partner institution. Let me point out one project that came out of uh, you know through our partner institution. Uh, for example, we have ported all the NCERT books um, in uh, to EPUB format um, on to run on Akash tablet, all the 215 books. Uh, if the government decides to release this uh, these books as open source, we have done the conversion, but if the government, it is a policy decision, if the government decides to release it as open source, then it will be available for all of our children to download and you know access. Uh, of course, uh, one can always uh, have a physical copy of the book uh, at home and one can take, the children can take just one tablet to school, it will have all the books and um, at the minimum it will reduce the school bag weight by half, okay. We know how important it is and um, of course uh, this is the starting point, one can, we can empower our teachers, school teachers students and so on to add content and you know uh, interactive material, animation, assignments, all kinds of things we could do. And what I want to say is this porting was done by a second year computer science BTEC student who led a team of about 10, 15 people and did that. And this uh, this student uh, uh, did his, 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 in fact he is in the fourth year, he is doing his BTEC. Sastra University, Tanjavur. So this is just to say that there are lots of nice things happening. There are bright students in many campuses and this methodology whatever we are doing is supposed to be uh, targeted at these children, at these uh, bright uh, people, bright students, bright faculty members and so on. So um, I do not want to take too much of your time. Uh, I want to congratulate all of you for having gone through this. Uh, I would want you to, uh, and now that you have learned something uh, extremely good, I would want you to use the same philosophy. Please share what you have learned with other people. That is sharing and collaborating has been the, the founding principle of this mission itself, whether it is NPTEL, whether it is uh, T10 KT, uh, whether it is Akash project, it is uh, collaborative uh, nature. So we would want you to follow the same thing. Please share whatever you have. Please share your resources, your computers. Um, you know, if you are in a college uh, with um, good facility and in your neighborhood you see colleges that do not have this facility, please uh, uh, share your resources. For example, you can conduct uh, spoken tutorial workshops 
for all your students it's all available free of cost if you have done this you know don't let your computers idle uh, our workshops are only two hour duration um, you know conduct a workshop every day and uh, do it for all your students if you have finished training all your students go to the nearby colleges if you have finished that also then call this invite the students from nearby schools uh, you know to start with the teachers from these schools invite them train them and uh, it is through education alone we can become a developed country and we can become a developed country by leaving behind 90% of our public as second class citizens second class and third class citizens if we want to become a developed country we can do it only if we can empower all our citizens so um, that is something that everybody can do uh, you can do it in a small way to start with and you will be amazed how much you can do if only you work hard and if you work in a collaborative manner so um, with this uh, i would like to uh, thank once again for the opportunity given to me to give this uh, address and uh, i wish you all the best and jai hind i have already talked enough i think for the last 10 days so i'm not going to speak too much just maybe a few minutes here and most of you are getting ready for lunch uh just a couple of things uh first i thank you for all the kind comments that the participants have made to us and to the team over here we very much value them uh all the suggestions that you have given us we will try very hard to i've got a big list of those suggestions we'll try very hard to factor that in in future courses and even in this course um a couple of things about this area first and foremost this is probably one of the most difficult things most of you are teaching it or at least many of you are teaching this course it is probably one of the most challenging courses that you can possibly be teaching i have taught about uh, 10 or 15 computer science courses in the past and i find this something that even after 10 years i still keep learning and learning and learning every semester when i teach computer architecture the learning stops or it becomes just 10% more every semester or 5% more in this case it's about 20% more and i never seem to think that i know enough about the subject still it is a very very vast subject and it is very very interdisciplinary uh, you must have seen based on the uh, sessions in the last 10 days that we have things like applied cryptography and i'm talking about applied cryptography if you take real cryptography the mathematics behind it is absolutely absolutely uh, awesome even in applied cryptography we need to have quite a bit of background in number theory discrete mathematics algorithms and so on even things like implementation issues uh, as we have seen in today's session uh, when you talk about security protocols it's a completely different kind of thinking and a completely different kind of mathematics there it's more logical bahn logic and some things like that some people had queries on what is bahn logic that is one of the things that you will need to make sure security protocols are sound then there's another aspect to cyber security which is system security there you might see things like operating systems architecture compilers and programming languages each have a role to play and a background in these is almost a prerequisite to understanding or teaching system security then there's network security needless to say this involves a good understanding of all the networking protocols and then there's of course the big area of application security which includes web security database security etc i agree we haven't had uh, probably the opportunity to deal with all of these areas in sufficient depth so at least we will try to introduce you to many of them or most of them but some of them got skipped along the way two things are for example cloud security it's a very interesting and new area lots of challenges in that and side channel attacks actually belongs in that and the other area is for example android security so we were thinking of a talk in that but then Uh, because we had the previous talk on uh, web security and there were some questions on it toshendra actually continued and discussed web security and left out some of android security so in a nutshell this is a very vast area it is very interdisciplinary and as a result it is very challenging the next major challenge is that it is also very very dynamic things change all the time there are new worms there are new viruses there are new vulnerabilities 
and just keeping up with this is a full time job let alone teaching doing research in this field is also very 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 challenging uh, the last thing I would like to conclude by saying is that because of all these challenges we would very much like to make available certain resources on our websites and probably a website dedicated to cyber security in this institute so we can update it frequently I have many uh, things that are in progress research in progress myself professor Shiva and other people over here professor Virendra etc and we would like to populate the site with some of our technical reports these are not necessarily things that we have treated but work in progress uh, the reason for this is because sometimes it takes us about several years before before something gets published so the stuff on elliptic curve cryptography for example was started about three or four years ago and has just been completed the final uh, paper is about to appear in a conference next month likewise the web security thing the browser extension that I talked about is again three years old we would like to make things available within a few months at most a year as soon as some work some satisfactory work has been accomplished so we would like to put some of these resources technical reports etc on a website I am currently uh, revamping my website but maybe another website which contains the contributions of various students and faculty members so this is one of the things that we'd like to do and then in conclusion I would like to thank everybody over here starting with Professor Fatak uh, who has been really a real driver in all of this thing we owe it greatly to him for changing the face of uh, higher education especially MOOCs and education for the masses uh, Professor Shiva has been very very successful and cooperative in everything uh, also Professor Sudarshan our head Professor Virendra Singh and many many other faculty a uh, special thanks to our teaching assistants they have been available almost I can say 24 by 7 anytime every time their phone numbers are with me and I keep bugging them endlessly to help I mean you can't believe what a great help these people have been uh, especially for example in, uh, both workshops in the first workshop it was just like a two week uh, advance notice I gave them about the tools and immediately they set things up uh, you know so that everything could be demonstrated on time a very very big thank you to our mtech students and especially the TAs in this course and uh, finally to the organizers I'm looking at Kanan she was really very good I mean I've been sort of bugging her she's also been bugging me to get things moving and Rachna and Mahindra he I don't know where he is right now but he also has been very good I don't know the names of everybody out here but they've been all extremely extremely cooperative so a big thank you to all of them and a good luck to all of you in your career in your future God bless and Jai Hind